Yo, yo, it's Timothy Glean. I'm coming at you with uh, another one of these videos. I wanted to double up and kind of speak about something that's been on my heart for the longest since walking with the Most High. Um, the concept of being set apart and truly walking with the Most High, following the Messiah, labels, you know, that's... One thing that I mentioned in that last video is labels. And sometimes I believe the labels can kind of get in the way of connecting with an individual. Because if somebody's calling themselves this, and I'm calling myself that, or if I'm from this denomination and you're from that denomination, or I follow this doctrine and you follow that doctrine, and it's just like, you know, you start to slap so many different things on yourself where you kind of dilute the word in itself and how it should be, you know, and uh, I'm in this weird in-between place because so when I first started walking with the Most High, I didn't call myself a Christian. Then I eventually started calling myself a Christian. And as of late... I've been wanting to stray away from the title because you associate yourself with the title of something, not the walk, not the lifestyle, not the the guarding of his ways, of, of Yah's ways, not truly following Yahusha, you know, not, not any of that. I mean, just simply the label. When you even take the label off of yourself, or walk away from the label of the, what you profess to believe. It's like people start to be weird with you. Now, now if we are to go by labels. I don't want to just throw myself in with the general Christian. Because if I'm throwing myself generally with an entire group of Christians that I'm tying myself to the entire whole. Um, are we to be accountable for one another in local assemblies and gatherings and even you know, nationally and just whatever platforms that we have? And yeah, you know. But and I I, I want to make this plain and clear, you know, because many people build. A lot of ministry, a lot of people build a lot of their ministry off of exposing other said set apart Christian individuals or Christians, not just set up, not set apart, but I say Christians. There's Christian exposing, you know, and I'm not in a place to rebuke an elder or to rebuke a leader. So regardless of whatever somebody's thrown out there pushing you know, I believe there's many people that could be wrong. I'm not here to talk about T.D. Jakes. I'm not here to talk about uh, Pastor Michael Todd. I'm not here to talk about Joe Osteen. I'm not here to talk about Creflo Dollar and Kenneth Copeland. I'm not here to talk about none of them. And this is probably my last time you'll hear me saying any of those names on my channel. Because I'm not here to expose anybody else's ministries. And I'll be honest, yo. I drive was blessed by like a couple T.D. Jake's messages. And this is while I was in the truth. While I was in the truth. And I listened to T.D. Jake's. And I listened to it in principle. And I'm like, in principle, this is correct. Like what he was saying. You know, but when you don't have a message on repentance, on biblical holiness, and just that, that holy standard, you know, just the, the foundations of old, you know, being built in a new generation. You know, like, of course we don't have that, but I'm not here to judge any leader, anyone in leadership. Yah has allowed them to be in that position for a reason. And I believe that Yah has used a lot of these people to give their congregations the milk. And for those that are hungry and set apart, they leave those ministries and... And most likely go somewhere else where they can be fed even more. You know, so Yah uses everything 
He uses the foolish to confound the wise. You know, so when I when I look at that aspect, I'm not. So I want to make that disclaimer right now. I'm not here to expose anybody's ministries or anybody. Like I'm not here to do that. What I am here to do is express some thoughts, and if there's some rebukes that come in, generally, you know, because. Ultimately, if I'm speaking on certain things, it's general things, and most likely the things that I'm speaking on, the speck is out of my eye. Once again, I don't, and I will make this disclaimer as well, I don't come here in a prideful way like I'm better than anybody. It's sad that I have to explain this, but you have to sometimes put that out there because the reason why some people wouldn't even listen to certain Christians or certain believers is because they'll like, what kind of life are you living? You know, it's just like, you cheated on your wife or like, you don't take care of your kids or like, uh, you don't pay your taxes. It's, all, it's, it's always something that they're going to try to look for in order to discredit what you're saying. You know, ultimately judgment starts in the house of Yah. So we don't judge not people of the world, the things of the world, but if you're a prophetic voice, you do bring forth the word of God and the judgments against nations that turn their back on the most high. So that's different. You know? But um oh, this about to die. Yeah, but ultimately, um I'm probably gonna have to get another battery. I'm gonna try to see how if I can record as much as possible, but I'm done with the labels. I'm done with calling myself this or calling myself that or calling myself that or calling myself this. I'm set apart. <laughs> Simple as that. I'm set apart. Kodashim. Follower of the Messiah. And I believe in the word of the Most High. And I use that as my manual to life. And that's what I follow. That's what I abide in. And by, by the Ruach guides me into all truth and righteousness. And uh, to guard his ways by his Ruach. And it's that simple. You know, so... I hope this message blessed you. I know it's short, but this is what I want to do. Um, and just, y'all bless. Woo woo!